Hello and welcome back to the Go Engineer YouTube channel. I'm Mike Thompson. I'm a SolidWorks application engineer for Go Engineer. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through another method of accessing Go Engineer's training VDI. VDI stands for Virtual Desktop Infrastructure, and it allows you to access a desktop computer over an internet connection. We have one video showing how to use the HTML access in which you would access our VDI through your web browser. Not all web browsers are built the same, and sometimes you can have things like antivirus or extensions or particular versions of web browsers that just don't work properly from time to time. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use our VMware Horizon client. This client is a desktop application that you install on your local desktop. So when you sign up for your training course, you will be given your VDI login URL and you will be given your access credentials. I am here at one of our URLs and I'm just going to go ahead and click the install VMware Horizon client. And it's bringing me here. So what I'm going to do is come to the VMware Horizon client for Windows because that's what I'm running here. If you run on Mac OS or Linux, including uh, some Chromebooks will work for it as well. But I'm just going to hit go to downloads. I'm going to hit download now and it will download here. I'm going to go ahead and hit open file. Now, I have administrator access on my computer, so I'm just going to hit yes when the dialog comes up. It's going to ask me to agree to the privacy agreement and license terms. And now it is going to install. So we're going to let the computer do computer things. All right, so that took about five minutes and I have to restart my computer, so we'll be back. So now that we've rebooted our computers, you'll have a desktop icon for VMware Horizon client. Mine is just out of frame, but trust me, I'm double clicking it now. It'll take a moment to load up, especially on the first time, but we are going to be met with this screen and I'm going to select add server. The name of the connection server is going to be the URL that the training team gave you. So in my case, it is vdi2.goengineer.com. And now I'm going to put in the credentials that the training team gave me. And now that I'm in here, it's going to show me what machines I'm entitled to. So I'm going to double click SolidWorks 2022. and it has put us into a full screen session. I'm going to go ahead and exit full screen so I can record the entirety of my machine. Here we go. And now you can see that it's just a standard Windows desktop environment we're looking at. So what I'm going to do is launch SolidWorks 2022 and while that's loading, I'm going to come down to my start menu and I'm just going to start typing file to launch my file explorer. I'll minimize that for now and see that we even have the standard SolidWorks license agreement coming up. So I'm going to hit accept. And while that's loading in, I'm going to come over to my file explorer. I'm going to come over to this PC and you'll see that we have a network drive and this is the T drive, which you can see here. Think about T as in training. So I'm going to access my T drive. I'm going to come over to my training files. And let's say I'm taking SolidWorks Essentials. I'm going to right click that. I'm going to hit extract all. And what I'm going to do is browse to this remote desktops, desktop location. So I'm going to hit browse and I'm just going to click desktop under my quick access and I'll hit select folder and that will extract. So now that that's done, you can see that it opened up our desktop 
environment in the file explorer. I'm going to go to essentials and we can see that all of our lessons are here. So now I can come over to SolidWorks and I just hit uh, my full screen button there and I can just go around to open, come over to desktop, essentials, lesson one, and just keep on drilling down and I'll just open up one of these parts. And it's giving me a message about PDM. Uh, I'm going to hit no. If you take a PDM course, you will get additional login credentials to let you use PDM. So I'm going to hit no. And we have our part here. So we can go ahead and manipulate anything we want here. So I can edit this feature. I can make this a 270 degree revolve if I want to instead. And everything is as it should be. It's performant like a native desktop environment for SolidWorks. So you shouldn't be recognizing or receiving any issues at all running this. I now need to tell you what's going to happen when you're done. So we can close out of all of our files in SolidWorks. We can close out of SolidWorks here. And all I'm going to do is hit my hamburger menu in this top right corner. I'm going to hit log off desktop. And it's signing me out just like it would. And now if I hit this back button up here, it will disconnect me from the server. So once you're done with your case studies for the day, that's everything you need. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this walkthrough, please subscribe and leave us a comment below if you have a topic you'd like us to cover in a future video. Visit our website, goengineer.com, for access to professional training, upcoming events, and more from your number one online technical resource. Thanks again for watching, and I look forward to the next one.